Welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday. A lot of people find it hard to draw hands. It takes practice, and what better way to practice than using your own hand as a model? I'm using a rollerball pen from Uniball. I like it for its consistent and juicy line, and the ink is water resistant, so if I want to add watercolors to my drawing, I can do that without the lines bleeding. First of all, we need to switch our brain off. The part of the brain that is thinking, that hand looks complicated with those fingers curled up and overlapping each other, the shadows, highlights and the texture of the skin. Instead, start observing. Don't draw the hand, but draw the outline first. Draw the negative shape, the space around the hand, and ignore the hand completely. You'll see curves and you can see corners. Draw those. Once the first outline is on your paper, you can start adding details. Look for negative spaces inside of the shape. There's one here, for example. It helps you to find the place where to put your next line or shape, to keep an eye on the proportions and to use small landmarks or reference points within your subject. Try not to think of the fingers as you draw them, but think of the shapes that you see. When you are drawing the shapes, in the end you are drawing the fingers and the creases in the skin, but you're drawing what you see rather than what you think you see. By doing this, step by step and shape by shape, you will feel less overwhelmed by the whole and you won't have time to think about whether the end result will be good or not. All your concentration and your focus needs to be at drawing the shapes. Yes, it will take practice and also patience, but you have your patient model, your hand, always with you, so you can do a quick practice sketch whenever you want, trying different gestures and poses too. Next week we will add a little bit of shadow to give this drawing some sense of depth using hatching lines. See you then! In the meantime, have fun and make awesome art! If you want to develop your drawing skills more, go to my website makeawesomeart.com and sign up for one of my classes today.